Daisy night! Another scary, scary story. I cannot believe my sister Daisy talked me into this again! Where is she? Ooh, I see you. Daisy, I did that one while you were in Texas. <gasps> you did it all by yourself? Are you serious? Yeah, I did. It was super scary, but the ending is amazing. Will you play it again so I can too? Yeah, or you could play it alone on your channel. Uh, I don't know if I could do that. What? You're afraid? Are you serious right now? Um, well, okay, I'm a little afraid, but not really because I'm the one that always comes up with these games. Um, okay, yeah, but you only want to play them if I do? Oh, are you saying that you're a chicken? No, I'm not. I'm not a chicken. Come on, I'll show you. Two tickets, please. Daisy, I already bought our tickets. Duh, this is the age of Google. You just Google the show and then buy it. Ugh, nobody buys tickets at the door. I do. Ah! Molly, that's another player. What are you yelling about? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> A stormy night. Are you seriously going to sing through this whole thing? Maybe. Nick and Gloria had enjoyed their two-week vacation at the lake and were just packing up the car for the long ride back home. I wish we could stay another week, Gloria said longingly. Yeah, me too, Nick said in agreement. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, you're going to die. Molly, that's not nice. Ooh, they have a nice car. Okay, it's not nice, but it's the truth. I'm trying to warn them. Don't do it! Nick started the car and turned on the radio to listen to the weather forecast. If you're traveling on Route 23 or 17 tonight, expect severe thunderstorms and flooding in most areas. The radio blared. Aw, oh, man, are you serious? Nick responded. It's okay, honey. We'll be fine, Gloria assured him. No! Listen to Molly! I've played lots of these games. You're never, ever fine. I'm going to jump on your hood. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, brother. How did I get stuck with her as a sister? They pulled out onto the road and headed toward Route 17. There won't be <clears throat> as much flooding on the 17. So we'll take that, Nick said. Sounds good to me, poopy head. <laughs> I like Gloria. They both cracked up. Apparently, she thinks that poopy head is funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny. What's gonna happen next? About After about an hour of driving, the clouds began moving in. Storm is coming, Nick said to Gloria. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be a rough one, Gloria responded. Okay, you guys could just go back and stay another day, like camp or whatever. Oh, just stay where you are, I'm telling you. This is going to end badly. You don't know that, Molly. Maybe it'll be a happy ending. <laughs> You're funny, Daisy. Seriously. Uh-oh. Soon the rain had started and visibility was getting lower and lower. It was also getting dark. Nick and Gloria braced themselves for the worst. Can I just tell you what I don't like about these games, Daisy? You're interrupting the story, Molly. I know, but I hate the jump scares, you know, when that giant scary thing, like, jumps up on your screen and, and you aren't expecting it and it makes you scream. Yeah, that is pretty creepy. That's what I love about it. Oh, no. Just no. Wow, this part of the ride is taking a long time. There we go. The rain quickly turned into a dangerous downpour. Nick gripped the steering wheel hard as he struggled to see through the blinding rain. Then suddenly... No! Ah! A deer jumped out into the road, right in front of them. Nick hit the brakes and spun off the road and hit a tree with the rear bumper, smashing the taillight. But they were okay. And the deer... You crazy deer! Why are you in the road? It ran off into the woods, it said Molly. Give me a ride, deer! Whee! <laughs> you can't ride a deer, Daisy. Nick pulled over and got out to check the damage before getting back into the car. It's just a taillight and a scratch on the bumper, he told Gloria. Oh, thank heavens! That was frightening, she replied. Well, Molly, you kind of turned into Gloria there. I know, I was trying to sound like her. Yes, it was, Nick responded, then slowly drove on. He's got a blanket over his head. Honey, we're pulling over at the first place we come to so we can wait out the storm. It's just getting worse and worse, Nick said. 
You don't have to convince me. I'm all in with that. Gloria agreed. Wait, I didn't check and see what state they're from. The Majestic State. Okay, guys, tell me which one the Majestic State is from. I'm not sure. After another half an hour of driving, Gloria spotted something up ahead. Look, I think there's a diner up there, she said. Awesome, let's just hope it's open all night, Nick replied, half joking. <laughs> Nick, you jokester. Nick is kind of funny, right? When they pulled up to the diner, the neon sign said open. Gloria and Nick let out a sigh of relief. Yes, Gloria replied happily. Thank heavens, Nick replied. Oh, they went to Mom's Diner. Sounds delicious. I, said, I know, Molly. I don't think we can go in, though. What? There's no tables or chairs. Oh, how are they going to eat anything? Okay, whatever. Not very realistic. The two covered themselves with Nick's raincoat and hustled into the diner. Oh, I thought that was a blanket. It's a raincoat. Well, I guess I should say this now before we all die. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> We're not going to die, Molly. Okay, well, still subscribe, though. Okay, um, now there's tables and chairs in here. How interesting. The diner was very nice inside. The owners introduced themselves as a married couple, a couple named Sylvia and Josh. They seemed to be the sweetest people. Sylvia handed them menus as they talked about the storm. Yeah, this storm is crazy, Sylvia said. Um, does anybody else notice that Sylvia is kind of wearing, like, a hospital uniform? Mmm. The plot thickens! I'm helping make milkshakes! Daisy, come on! Helping make milkshakes, jeepers. After a, sh um, a short time, Sylvia took their order and went back behind the counter to help Josh make the food. Wow, they're so nice, Gloria said. I know, right? Josh agreed. Sylvia was back with their orders in just a few minutes. Wow, that was f so fast, Gloria said. Surprised. That's what we, we're known for, fast service and great food, Sylvia said Happ happily. She went back behind the counter with Josh. After they had finished eating, Sylvia slipped by to take their plates and fill their coffee cups while leaving a bill on the table. Gloria and Nick barely noticed. They sat for an hour or so until the storm passed. Then... Gloria and Nick left money on the table along with a very nice tip. Thank they thanked Sylvia and Josh for the great food and service and headed out the door. Josh and Sylvia waved goodbye enthusiastically. Well, after a terrifying experience with the deer and the storm, that was a wonderful way to put it all behind us, Gloria said happily. Agreed! Totally! What a great couple and diner, Nick responded. The sun was already coming up. Wow, they stayed at the diner for an hour and it was all night. <laughs> they needed some gas, so at the first station they pulled in. A man came out to greet them and Nick asked to fill it up and he began to pump the gas. Gloria told him that they had just eaten at Sylvia and Josh's diner. Josh and Sylvia, you two are way too young to know about them, the man said. Oh, Gloria replied, well, we just ate at their diner. They were so nice, Gloria responded. That's impossible. They died over 25 years ago. What? Diner burned down with a minute? The man replied, no wonder the diner was empty. Oh, my gosh. Josh and, Sil Josh and Gloria are ghosts. I'm not even looking at the screen. Something's going to jump out. Ah! Something, something, something. Not yet, Molly. Gloria and Nick were in shock. Anyway, you must be talking about some other diner, the man said. Nick paid the man and he went back inside. The two got back into the car and sat there in total silence for a good five minutes. I'm looking in your car, guys. I don't want anything to be in there. No, no, no. Nothing's in there, Molly. There's no way we got it wrong, Nick said quietly. We're going back, aren't we, Gloria asked. I think we need to, honey, unless you want to live with thinking we're both crazy, Nick said. Half joking. Let's do it, Gloria replied. No, Molly, I think this is a bad idea. Nick and Gloria drove all the way back to the diner. They pulled in the parking lot and parked. There were only silence. After a few minutes, they both stepped out of the car and walked over to the building.
Indeed, the diner had burned to the ground a very, very long time ago. The only table left standing was the one they had eaten at, and there, on the burned remains of the table, was their food bill and the money they had left for Sylvia and Josh. Oh my gosh! That is creepy! Okay, this one's even creeping me out, Molly. Okay. Ah! coming why did you do that to me why oh, no, excuse me <laughs> Molly, is that a laugh or a cop cry both <laughs> i knew i was gonna do it i knew it okay molly can't talk right now she's too freaked out but i want to say thanks so much for watching today guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll see you in our next video <laughs> molly seriously it's over bye guys